If you want to improve on controller, you have come to the right place. I have been playing on controller ever since I first played Fortnite and have got pretty good at it. Today, I'm going to be sharing 5 tips that will improve your skill on controller and some of these won't even take time to practice, they will just instantly boost your skill. With that being said, let's get into tip number 1. First, I'm going to show you two settings you need to change inside of Fortnite that are specifically to do with controller and will help you improve by giving you a lot less input delay and will make your controller feel more responsive. For this first setting, you're going to need to go to your controller settings and change your controller platform to generic, like this. This setting is only available if you play controller on PC, but if you're on console, don't worry, as this next setting is available on all platforms. You may have noticed that a lot of controller players, myself included, have their edit bind set as one of their D-pad buttons, and you may have been completely confused as to why this is, because of how hard it is to press the D-pad while playing. But, the secret is, I don't actually click my d-pad to edit, I actually use my left stick, like nearly all controller players. The way this works is basically by having two different edit binds, but only using one of them because it decreases your input delay. Here's how to set it up for yourself. First, go to your controller binds and go to the combat controls tab and set the edit bind to whichever button you actually want to use in game. In my case, it's left stick. Then, set the switch mode slash edit bind to one of your D-pad binds. Personally, I've chosen right on the D-pad, but it doesn't matter too much because you won't actually use it in-game. Repeat this process for the Build Controls tab and the Ability Controls tab. Finally, go to the Edit Controls tab and make sure Confirm is set to whichever edit bind you want to use in-game. And there you go! Next time you go in-game, your controller binds may look a little different, but they will give you a lot less input delay. Tip number two is all to do with your controller sensitivity. On keyboard and mouse, sensitivity doesn't matter too much because you have your whole arm to control your movement, but on controller, you only have your thumb. Often, controller players have their sensitivity too low, and I had this problem myself for months, and it held me back a lot because I couldn't make quick and precise movements, especially while building and editing. Everyone has slightly different preferences when it comes to sensitivity, so here's how to find one that's perfect for you. First, set your sensitivity to these settings that are on screen now. I use these settings myself and they are pretty generic, so they are a good starting point to finding settings that suit you. Once you've applied the settings, try them out and if they feel too slow, then increase the sensitivity until you're happy, or if they feel too fast, decrease the sensitivity until you're happy. Also, for example, if the settings feel fine when building, but not when you're doing something else like editing, then you can go ahead and only change the edit multiplier setting, for example. Once you find a sensitivity that you are completely happy with, try your best to stick with it and not change it. The more often you change your sensitivity, the more inconsistent your aim, movement, and building and editing will get, because you won't be giving yourself time to build up muscle memory. In conclusion, when it comes to sensitivity on controller, try to make sure it's not holding you back at all by being too slow or too fast, but also make sure to not change your sensitivity too often. Tip number three is to make sure your loadout is organised in an optimal way for playing controller. Let me explain. As you know in Fortnite, your loadout has 5 slots for weapons and items, and you need to be able to switch through them effectively. On keyboard and mouse this is not a problem because you can simply press one key and switch to any slot in your loadout instantly. But on controller, you have to use the bumpers on your controller to switch through your loadout one slot at a time. To get around this issue, you should organise your loadout like this. Your first slot should 
Always have your shotgun in, no matter what. Your second slot should generally hold your spray weapon that you would use to follow up with after using your shotgun because it's simply one click away from your first slot. Your third and fourth slots should contain items that you won't generally need to access quickly. An example would be healing items or even a long range weapon like the Cobra DMR. Your final slot should contain your mobility item so that you can access it with one click from your shotgun and use it to get away quickly if you need to. Fortnite also now has a feature called preferred item slots which allows you to choose where you want different types of weapons to be put in your loadout. This is useful whether you're on keyboard and mouse or controller but on controller it matters a lot more how your loadout is organised so you should definitely set this feature up. Tip number four is all about your crosshair placement. In case you didn't know, crosshair placement is simply where your crosshair is on screen and how it affects your gameplay. Good crosshair placement is when your crosshair stays on your opponent while aiming, as well as making sure your crosshair moves as little as possible while building and editing. Having good crosshair placement is another thing that's significant whether you play on keyboard and mouse or controller, but is even more important on controller. The best way to practice and get good crosshair placement is by playing these creative maps. This first one is called the Skavok Aim Trainer and is perfect for improving your crosshair placement while aiming. There are lots of different drills and it's a very efficient way of improving. The map code is now on screen. This next map is called Aim and Mechanics. It has these edit courses with lines on the builds so that you know where to move your crosshair to edit as efficiently as possible and have the best crosshair placement while editing. The more you practice this, the more muscle memory you will build up and eventually you won't need the lines on the builds and will just have perfect crosshair placement automatically. Tip number five is to do with an aspect of your controller binds. I'm not going to get into what are the best controller binds or if you should be playing claw or paddles as that's a completely separate video in itself but I will give you a tip that should apply no matter what controller binds you have. It's pretty simple, you should never have one of your controller buttons bound to more than one action. Let me explain. This is because you will have to hold down your bind to do one of the two actions. For example, by default you will have to use the same button to pull out your builds and to edit. This would obviously be a disadvantage as you would be having to hold down your bind to be able to edit and that few seconds really slows you down. To have a separate bind for every action in Fortnite, you may need to sacrifice some actions that aren't important in game, like emote. If you combine and use all these tips, I can promise you that you will see some serious improvement very quickly and will never want to switch to keyboard and mouse. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, you'll be sure to enjoy this other tips and tricks video on screen right now, so go watch it.